artist, art is a big part of what I do for Vintro. Enrique, which is the owner of Vintro, approached me to have a picture of his favorite speed racer, Checoto. I said to him, let's do a mural. This is gonna be amazing. I'm a collector of magazines and imagery, so it was kind of perfect that I fell upon Vintro and created this retro image. It reminds me of an old poster and of an advertisement for maybe a race or something like that. I did it old school, <laughs> which is looking at it and, and adjusting it to my point of view. In the beginning, first I need an image of what's going to be created. Uh, so there needs to be a frame of reference. In this case, is a close proximity wall. So the frame point, I guess, is quite odd. Creating a mural with limited space is challenging. The mural of Chekoto is located in the roof of the hotel. We did it in a hallway and every single time we needed to get, you know, just away from it to have a better perspective, we had to get out of the room and go behind a glass and continue painting. This image didn't really have many colors. It had black, white and red. I ran with it. I started with the darks, then went with the lights, and then kept layering and building and taking away and adding on. I mixed black and white to create gray, and then I used that to kind of give shadows and uh, give it a sense of dimension. Sometimes the paint kind of rules how the picture is going to come out, like a drip. Sometimes I would leave it and work with that and then build up and take away. Drips are the worst, but they're kind of good sometimes too. I use spray paint. I wasn't what spraying it too hard. I was just kind of give it a light touch to make it splatter in a way that I liked. My paint roller dried, so I just kind of used the end of it to get my highlights. I just like the messy look. Like you can see by my hands, you could kind of tell that a person made it and there's an artist's hands involved. I guess everybody starts painting when they're young, huh? I just never stopped.